The final approach of an F-35C stealth fighter jet seconds before it crash lands into the flight deck of a U.S. aircraft carrier. Images circulated on social media confirmed by the U.S. Navy show the plane moments later in the ocean, canopy open after its pilot escaped. The cause of the crash, which injured the pilot and six sailors, still under investigation. The Navy now has the difficult task of recovering the wreckage of a $100 million jet from the bottom of the ocean to make sure, defense experts say, that its classified technology doesn't fall into the wrong hands. The Chinese have a, have a long history of being able to borrow something from overseas and reverse engineer it. So that this would certainly be a, a gold mine as far as that goes. The crash occurred here in the South China Sea, a heavily trafficked body of water that Beijing claims almost all for itself. And this is where two American aircraft carriers are currently operating, accompanied by more than 100 warplanes and at least 10 other warships, an unmistakable demonstration of U.S. naval power to both allies and rivals in Asia. That is a powerful reminder that the Indo-Pacific is of central uh, strategic importance to the Biden administration. It's about signaling to other competitors in the region, most notably China, that the United States' credibility should not be taken lightly. The Chinese foreign ministry says it's not interested in the crashed plane. A spokesman urged the U.S. to contribute more to regional peace rather than flexing force at every turn. But Chinese state media did some gloating, saying the crash exposed U.S. exhaustion at containing China. It's not the first time the U.S. Navy has had an accident while asserting what Washington says is its right to conduct freedom of navigation operations in these contested waters. Last October, a U.S. Navy attack submarine crashed into an undersea mountain in the South China Sea, prompting the firing of its commanding officers. Meanwhile, the versatile F-35 warplane, developed years behind schedule and way over budget, has had its own setbacks of late. A British F-35 crashed into the Mediterranean Sea in November. In 2019, a Japanese F-35 crashed into the Pacific Ocean, killing the pilot. The jet impacted at such high speed that salvage teams never recovered most of the aircraft. Flying from, from aircraft carriers is a high-risk business, and occasionally problems will happen. While it's unfortunate, it is to be expected when you start flying hundreds of sorties. Experts predict it will take several weeks for the U.S. Navy to recover this expensive wreck from the bottom of the sea. Ivan Watson, CNN, Hong Kong.